Hi, this is Daniel DeToro. Do you need to lose weight or are struggling to maintain a healthy weight? In this video, I'm going to discuss why eat 700 calorie lunches and dinners, examples of supersized restaurant foods, comparison of prepared and home cooked lunches and dinners, sample 700 calorie lunches and dinners, and eating more food while cutting calories. Recipes for the home cooked foods in this video are available on my website. Most people are overweight or obese for one reason. Calories in exceeds calories out. In other words, daily calories eaten exceeds daily calories burned. Weight gain stops when calories in equals calories out. For example, if you need 2,200 calories a day to maintain a healthy weight and your diet averages 3,000 calories a day, you'll gain weight until you have a 3,000 calorie body. One challenge is knowing the number of calories in foods and meals. Beginning with breakfast, excess calories is converted to body fat. The average person needs between 1,800 to 2,400 calories a day, or an average of 700 calories a meal if you eat three meals a day. If you snack between meals, you must subtract snack calories from your meal calories. Many people eat as if their job requires strenuous physical activity, burning hundreds of calories an hour. Physical activities account for about 30% of your daily calories. A sedentary lifestyle and eating too many calories leads to weight gain. The actual number of calories you need depends on your metabolism and activity level. Every diet comes down to choices. It doesn't matter which diet you choose. Ignore the marketing hype. You can lose, maintain, or gain weight on any diet. It all comes down to the foods you eat and portion sizes. Restaurants don't place a complimentary basket of bread or tortilla chips on your table because they care about your health. They provide it because most customers expect it. And the breads and chips are not really complimentary. The cost is included in your meal whether you eat them or not. To make matters worse, most U.S. restaurants serve supersized portion sizes because their customers expect it. Thanks to online reviews, many people will migrate to restaurants serving huge portions at low prices. The fact your body doesn't need all those calories is besides the point. Large portions and low prices equals better value. It's one reason why Mexican food is so popular. You get a lot of food compared to the cost. But large portions eaten on a regular basis produces larger people. But don't worry, there are plenty of supersized clothes for supersized bodies. Most U.S. chain restaurants now include calorie information in their menus. The menu says that this menu item pictured has 860 calories, but for a dollar more, you can add up to 220 calories. Excluding an appetizer, drinks, and dessert, this item provides 860 to 1,080 calories. In some cases, the number of calories in menus can be misleading. This may look like a light lunch or dinner, but you have two options. Order it with a salad for a measly 920 calories or with fried potatoes for 1,270 calories. But the sandwich calories excludes complimentary all-you-can-eat bread and butter. Add one slice of bread with butter and the calorie count exceeds 1,100 with the salad and almost 1,500 with fried potatoes. Add one bottle or glass of beer and you can add another 200 to 300 calories. And if you must have dessert, add another 500 to 1000 calories. What started out as a 920 calorie sandwich with salad can easily approach or exceed 2000 calories. This Mexican meal exceeds 2000 calories without a beverage and dessert. 
This is an approximate breakdown with the entree providing about 1400 calories. Taking half the meal home provides a second meal with about 700 calories. This homemade chicken enchilada meal with red sauce instead of mole has about 820 calories. Dining out on a regular basis can add thousands of calories to your diet. That doesn't mean you should stop eating out. To cut calories when dining out, skip or limit complimentary bread and butter. This includes breads and rolls, breadsticks, naan, tortilla chips, and sweetbreads. Salsa is relatively low in calories, but can be high in sodium. Share or omit appetizers. Most are fried, high sodium, and have up to 2,000 calories. A shrimp cocktail is a low calorie option at about 200 calories, but it can be very high in sodium and is usually pricey. Alcoholic beverages are high profit items for most restaurants. One drink has between 150 to 500 calories. 16 ounces of water, unsweetened tea, or coffee has less than 4 calories. When it comes to restaurant entrees, it's caveat emptor. While many chain restaurants provide calorie information, local restaurants and some chain restaurants are exempt from the requirements. Too many entrees can provide up to a day's worth of calories. One half of the previous meal pictured nearly fills a 10 inch diameter plate. Desserts are high profit items for restaurants and high calorie items for diners. Dessert calories following a large meal are usually surplus calories your body will convert to body fat. You don't have to completely give up desserts. You can still enjoy your favorite dessert. When possible, order it to go and enjoy it for breakfast the following morning when your daily calorie counter has reset to zero. Add a cup of tea or coffee for a quick continental breakfast. Some lunch and dinner entrees come with an option of soup or salad. Again, it comes down to choices. If you're trying to lose or maintain your weight, the dinner salad is a better choice than French onion soup. If the choice is between vegetable soup and a dinner salad, the vegetable soup usually provides less calories. Salads are excellent for a light lunch or dinner. This homemade Cobb salad has less than 700 calories and provides 52 grams of protein. Hearty high fiber soups are also great for a light lunch or dinner. A nine ounce serving of this slow cooker minestrone soup has about 125 calories. This version with beef provides more protein for about 200 calories a serving. Depending on the ingredients, a nine ounce serving of soup or chili can have as little as 100 calories or up to 300 calories. Broths can be a low calorie snack. Some people are replacing one or more meals with a cup or two of broth especially bone broths. Broths are great when prepping for a colonoscopy, but most people do not find them filling because they, like most liquids, pass quickly through the digestive tract. Sandwiches are popular around the world. As I've shown, restaurant sandwiches have enough calories for two or three meals. Even so-called healthy sandwiches can provide more calories than you need. While the number of calories between the restaurant chicken sandwich and the homemade cold cut sandwich are about the same, the homemade sandwich meal provides almost twice as many food and half the calories per ounce. There are many ways to cut sandwich calories. First, downsize instead of supersize. Limit high calorie breads like brioche, skip the extra cheese, go light on the meats, pile on the vegetables, and have a side of fruit or salad instead of fried potatoes or potato chips. An occasional side of fried potatoes or potato chips is fine when you're not eating thousand calorie sandwiches. A restaurant hamburger can have up to 12 ounces of ground beef 
More meat means more bread and more calories. A serving of beef is four ounces. Less meat means smaller bun and less calories. The homemade cheeseburger has 50% less calories than the restaurant burger. High protein foods are usually high calorie foods, but there are lean protein options. Here are a few examples of the calories and protein in a four ounce portion of various fish, poultry, pork, and beef. For less than half the calories, you can receive almost as much protein from four ounces of turkey breast as you would from four ounces of ribeye steak. Portion control is the foundation of many diet plans. You can cut thousands of calories by simply reducing portion size. One way to control portion size is to prepare your own meals. Home cooking lets you control what foods you eat, portion sizes, and what is in your food. In addition to chemical additives and preservatives, home cooking allows you to control how much salt and sodium is in your food. Large restaurant portion sizes comes with very high levels of sodium. Just one meal can provide 3,000 milligrams of sodium or more, well above the 2,300 milligram daily recommendation. A high sodium diet can increase water retention and blood pressure. High blood pressure is the leading cause of heart attack and stroke. Dining out is convenient, but you must be aware of the number of calories in your meal. Eating more lean protein and reducing portion size is a simple way to cut calories. The makers of the frozen meatloaf meal proclaim its high protein content while ignoring its high sodium content. With the home cooked meal, you get more food, less calories, less sodium, and more protein. If you like beef, this simple home cooked meal provides more food for about the same number of calories with a fraction of the sodium and more than twice the protein. Stir fried meals allows you to enjoy lean beef for a fraction of the calories of restaurant meals. One of the easiest ways to cut calories is to eat lower calorie density foods. The stir fry meal provides three times the food, but not three times the calories because the ingredients are less calorie dense. Hardcore low diet plans tell you to ban pizza from your diet. It's easier telling people to ban foods than to educate them on how they can enjoy their foods while cutting hundreds of calories. Pizza is one example where restaurants pile on high calorie ingredients. Again, the reason is because customers demand it. If you avoid thick crusts, extra cheese, and extra meat, you can cut pizza calories in half. Online reviews for an Italian restaurant complained that their pizza had too much tomato sauce and too little cheese. Those reviewers wanted more high-calorie, low-nutrition cheese and less low-calorie, high-nutrition tomato sauce. American pizza restaurants are more than willing to pile on taxpayer-subsidized high-calorie cheese. As I've said, your diet comes down to choices. If you die from eating a poor diet, another customer will take your place. You can pile on the pepperoni and cheese for a mere 500 calories for a 6 ounce slice. Or for a few more calories, you can enjoy 8 ounces of grilled shrimp and over 50% more food. This fast food chicken sandwich meal has about 900 calories versus about 600 calories for chicken kebabs with quinoa tabula. 700 calorie lunches and dinners are not limited to sandwiches and meat and potatoes. Many Americans associate eggs with breakfast. Omelets and other egg recipes are quick and easy to prepare and can be simple 700 calorie meals. This simple meal has about 630 calories, 525 milligrams of sodium, and 25 grams of protein. Some takeaways from this video are that your diet comes down to choices. Most restaurant foods are high calorie foods and restaurants give you what you want, not what you need. 
Home cooking gives you control over the foods you eat, portion sizes matter, and low calorie density foods allow you to eat more food and less calories. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.